Every time he touches one off, it's a no-doubter. Breaking ball, Yelich, center field deep. Back goes Dyson at the wall, and he got it! What a catch! Gerard Dyson! My goodness! Up! On it! And he held it! Amazing! And again the 2-2. And here it is. And swung it. Hit the left field deep. Way back. Ruin turning around. He will watch a game-winning grand slam for Chris Davis in the bottom of the ninth inning. Do you believe that? A's 8, Texas 5. And it's Davis's third home run tonight. They're going wild at the Coliseum. High deep drive into left field. Down into the corner again. And Intendi near the wall. Leaps. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. From the borough of Queens in Flushing, New York, welcome to beautiful City Field. Tonight it's the first of four between the Cincinnati Reds and the New York Mets. It's Mets baseball next on the show. Noah Syndergaard is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mets. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, he's been really good. He's got two wins in the last three starts. His team's had an opportunity to be in the game deep and late, and he's walked away, like I said, with two wins. So let's see if he's able to get three wins and four starts after this outing. Now at the plate, Jose Peraza. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. One and two as he chases the slider. 91 mile an hour slider. Man, a lot. There's not many people that throw that one right there. That is the elite group right there. I would throw that pitch every time. And now a slider is swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is set down to open up the ball game. A moment here to take a look at the Cincinnati Reds starting lineup in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? You always have to look out for a guy like Joey Votto. He had over 20 runs batted in last month. Very consistent. A solid month, and I love watching him swing the bat. It looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. His stolen base total leads the ball club. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Well, if you're wondering if he's going to be loose for this game, there's our answer. 98 in the first inning. He's going to be coming right after And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. Man, that's always tough. He was a strike Nine away third. from striking first out two in a row, 19. but he got a little careless and Joey. caught too much of the plate there. Marta. It gets ripped for a one-out extra base hit, and he's got some work to do now to get out of this one. In is Joey Votto now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. One out and a runner on second base. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Well, this is what they didn't do yesterday. Execute with runners in scoring position. So now you got a chance. Here it is already in this ball game. You got a guy sitting there in scoring position. Drive him in, execute, and you jump away from yesterday's loss. Here he comes again, one, two. Down the first baseline, Rivera picks it up, and he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now at the plate, Adam Duvall. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Two outs here with a runner at third. To two and two now. He swung so hard, I don't know how he stayed on his feet or kept his helmet on. I'm surprised he didn't fall down. He swung so hard. What a big swing. And this is fouled back and out of play. 
He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. One left for Cincinnati. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Anthony DiSclefani is on the mound for the Reds in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, one thing to look out for him, Matt, is if he can avoid the big inning. It's not that big of a deal to give up a run here or there, but sometimes he can be prone to giving up three or four in an inning, and that kind of derails the whole start when that happens. Limit the damage, and he'll be just fine. Stepping up to the plate, Jose Reyes. His career line against Di Sclafani, one for three. He also has one home run. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now, three and two. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Peraza over to his left. A quick out number one. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know, I don't use many cliches. I would have to say, have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. He was a perfect four for four in last night's game. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high changeup, so I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws. Throw in time at first for out number two. Batting third. Digging in the switch and hitter Dribble. as Dribble Cabrera. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. 1-1 one, one pitch coming now to Cabrera. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Hamilton going back at the track. The wall. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Solo shot to right center. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. Ready now, Michael Conforto. And he comes into this one having hit safely in his last five games. Two out, nobody on. And he takes a cold strike, too. Oh, that was a good-looking slider to hit. It kind of hung him one. When you got a slider right there and it's spinning towards you, that's the one you, you annihilate. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Hamilton is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Mets draw first blood thanks to this solo home run. Second inning coming up, and the Mets have an early 1-0 lead. So digging in now, Zach Kozart. He enters play hitting in the 260s for the year. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And a waste pitch there, one and two. Hey, I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0-2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. All even at two and two, here it is. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. And 
And that brings up Scott Shebler. He was among the many who failed to record a base hit in the loss yesterday. Lifted the other way out to left center. Lagara is giving chase. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting seven. In Their now, Eugenio seven. Suarez. Eugenio Career numbers versus Syndergaard. Four for 12. We're in the second. One nothing Mets early on. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Curveball that time, not even close. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the red. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno, hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. Here's the one and one pitch. High pop up. Suarez is under this one. One gone. And here's how the Reds line up defensively, right brought to you by Majestic. And these guys can really defend. All you got to do is look at the air column. They're in the top five fewest airs in the league. They don't beat themselves very often. You're going to have to earn it to beat them. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. Bases are empty, one man out. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. Hit down the line at first. Taken in by Votto. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Cutting seven. Third baseman. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. Reynolds. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. And Harold, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, they've been on the skids recently, losers in seven of their last nine ball games. Well, Matt, their theme song, I heard it in the clubhouse. On the road again? Yeah, they are. I mean, it was a short home stand, and now they're back. Looking at a fast ball to end the inning. Down in order go the Mets. We play two innings, it's one to nothing. Stepping in, Sean Zaraga. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. The next 3 2. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Well, it's still early, but it's also Not worth nice. noting that he'd be in line for the win Anthony if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And with the year winding down, you can see he currently leads the NL in that department. Coming to the plate now, Anthony DiSclafani. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Hit to first. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the effort pays off as he's able to recover and get the second out of the inning. Well, if you're going to bobble a ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. And here's Jose Peraza. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Bases are empty here with two men out. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Reds are down in order. It remains 
Here's Juan Ligares. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Swung on and hit softly on a line. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. A little soft liner right there dropping in the outfield. He didn't hit it hard, but sometimes those little soft Patrick. singles get rallies Noah. started. Tindergaard. Now batting, Noah Sindergaard. And we'll likely see him square around to bunt. Nobody out, runner on first. Ligaris runs. On attempt, misses. The throw down. Cozart with the tag, and he is out at second base. Hey, not every catcher can make that throw, so that was pretty special. Benito Santiago made throwing from his knees famous when he was playing, but it's a really tough one to pull off. That's a long throw without any legs underneath you, so hats off to him on that one. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Schebler over to his right, two gone. Now batting, second baseman. Digging in for his hey. second at bat, Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Boy, good bite on the slider, and it just missed inside. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even got himself into a good hitter's count now. And strike three called as he says, You got to be kidding me with the side retired. Mets go down quickly, but they're on top one to nothing. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Billy Hamilton. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Line drive to left. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. So it's a leadoff base hit, and it makes for a good start to the inning for Cincinnati. So another multi-hit game for him as he's aboard here in the top of the fourth inning. And as we check out our Reds leaderboard, we find that he currently sits third best on the club in that department. Striding in once again, Joey Votto. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And whoa, you see the big number. How about 99 for a top speed? Not too many guys around the league can match that. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. 
Oh, he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Rivera is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Here's the shortstop, Zach Kozar. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Outside, 2 and 1. Well, it's 2 and 1 now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Well, he's out in front of that. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Reds leave one. They trail this one one to nothing. Ready for another chance? T.J. Rivera, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The two and one on its way. Looks oh, at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat. Three and one. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Standing in as Dribble Cabrera. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And a fastball just a bit high. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working him. Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. Yeah, I can hear the crowd well, murmuring now, fielder, wondering if he Kirby. hit him on purpose. But Michael, hey, us pitchers Michael. need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him, and hey, that's part of the game. Standing in now, Michael Conforto. Slider, and it's off his glove, and it bounces away. So now two men in scoring position. Two two here it is. Swing and a little tapper. And he sat down one away. The batter. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. He popped out in his first trip. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. Boy, that was an awfully close pitch right there. I know if I'm on the mound, I want that pitch called to strike. That's one of those that could go either way. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2-0 game. Got his job done there and made it look pretty simple. Got it into the outfield to bring home the first run of the game and pick up the RBI. Two runs on two hits. And no errors on the Mets line score so far. Pickoff move to second. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Outside, and he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. A throw behind the runner at second. Two out here and a runner at second. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Now a pickoff play at second. He's set and the 2-2 pitch. This is lined to left. 
And that's in there. Base hit. Cabrera rounds third and is digging for the plate. Is in time. And he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. We played four full. It's the Mets two. And the Reds nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Scott Shebler. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Settling in now, Eugenio Suarez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Skied into very shallow right. Waiting on it is Nimmo, two down. Now back into the box, Sean Zaraga. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. 1 2 3 go the Reds. They're down 2 to nothing. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. Into his motion, here comes the 3 and 1. And that misses nope. ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Center fielder number 12. Digging in to try it again, Juan Ligaris. He reached on a single in his first try. Two runs, three hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Runners off for second. In there, a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. I love running the guy on the 3 2 count. You know the pitcher's going to be around the plate. And if you got a guy that can handle the bat like this guy right here, you put the ball in play, and now you get the base hit on top of it, and you're sitting first and third. Phew. And now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here, and it's a lefty and a right handed up and throwing. Stepping in now, Noah Sindergaard. Now a bunt attempt here. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Okay. Now to the plate, the Jose Reyes. Second it's been an 0 for 2 effort Jose for him to this point. Reyes. Pulled toward right center field. Hamilton on the move. And he makes the play, but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. That was a good controlled swing out of him there. And that's exactly what he was hoping to do. Get it into the outfield and pick up the RBI. Smoke toward the hole. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And another runs across as this is now a 4-0 ball game. So another run into score. And we've seen that this has been a potent offense all season long as we bring in a look at the league leaderboard for runs scored. And you can see that the Mets are currently best in the senior circuit in that category. Ready for another shot now as Drubal Cabrera trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. Ready to deliver the one and two. Right side hit hard. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, sometimes you gotta just get lucky. He got out in front, hooked it, and just found a hole. Here comes 
Brian Price now out of the Reds dugout on his way to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds and he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Tim Adelman is going to take over here in inning number five so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Into the box Michael Conforto fastball called strike one and two. Getting a few steps off the second there. Now the pitch hit well on the ground to first. On to the bag with it himself is Bato, and the inning is over. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Five innings complete. It's the Mets four and the Reds nothing. Hernan Iribarren will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Hernan Iribarren. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Well, they've really struggled here. Now, I know this is the first game of the road trip, and maybe they're not comfortable in the surroundings yet, but this offense has got to get it going. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Man, this guy's on his game today, no not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive? No walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Into the box now, Jose Peraza. He grounds it sharply to third. Reynolds is right there. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business. But I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. The 0 2 once more. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Well, we all know he can burn on the base pass, right? But that's a little tougher to do. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Reds are down in order. They're down 4 0. Tony Singrani enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 52, Tony Singrani. Ready for another chance? Travis Darno. He hit a sack fly earlier. Ready to deliver the one and two. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And he's going to make it. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. Well, he picks up a hit now in 11 straight games. Swing the bat pretty good. I love the adjustments he's made along the way through this whole streak. Now a right-hander's begun to loosen up in the Cincinnati bullpen. Now a look and a throw back to second. Just keeping him close. No one out with a runner at second. In now, Brandon Nimmo. Called strike and he's behind one and two. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. Darno is on his way home. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. Now a 5 nothing lead. And he's one rookie that's not afraid of the moment. That's his second knock of the game. This one a double. And he looks like the type of player that knows he belongs. Standing in now, Matt Reynolds. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Oh. 
He's set and the one two pitch. Look out that one almost got away from him two and two now and that ball's not intentional. That was not, not even a fastball. Relax relax now people. I know we get excited when the ball's up and in. He's set. Here's the two two lofted in the air out toward right center calling for it to ball one out. Center fielder number digging 12. in to try it again. One Ligaris. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. Here's the one and one delivery. Called strike over the outside corner. Runner at second here with one man out. Hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. And that will become out number two. Ready for another shot now. Noah Sindergaard. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One for the Mets here on the RBI double. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up to start the seventh, and the lead is now 5-0. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. In is Joey Votto now. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. To short, hit hard. Cabrera's up with it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batting. Right fielder. Stepping in and Adam ready for another Duvall. shot. Adam Duvall. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. There to pull it in, Ligaris, and there are two away now. The batter, number two. Here's the shortstop, Zach Kozart, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Conforto will get there and he puts it away to retire the side starting to run out of innings here as they are unable to cut into the deficit seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark Mets out in front five to nothing Jumbo Diaz gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh Jumbo Diaz Jose Reyes will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Drilled on the ground is short. Played on the backhand. And a heck of an effort that time but the throws too late and that'll certainly be scored an infield single to lead off the inning. First baseman G.J. Rivera. Stepping in now, T.J. Rivera, two and one. 
Now a throw over, and he's back in standing. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. Sure enough, there goes Reyes. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. Another try at 2-2. Liner toward right center. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. First two hitters of the inning go back-to-back -back singles, and now they're first and third. This has the makings of a big inning. Into the box now as Dribble Cabrera fouled back. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. Grounded back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And add one more as this is now a 6-0 ball game. Oh, they're playing small ball this inning, Matt. Back to back to back singles. Michael Conforto. Digging in once again, Michael Conforto. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. None out, runners at first and second. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself in bad counts. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Hamilton going back, and it's gone. So a three-run shot to left center, number 21 for him on the season, as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. In now, Travis Darno. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Here's the one and two. Line to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. That's actually a pretty good pitch. Gets it inside, right and the batter just really strong. Fought it off and just flipped Demo. it in the outfield the other way. Into the box, Brandon Nimmo. In the dirt here. set here's the three and two swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out well we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of I'll the bullpen in the these net. days but it doesn't Third, make it any run. less impressive to me Matt. I love Rebel. watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys stepping in now Matt Reynolds. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Not too often do you see a changeup come across at 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. Runner at first here, one man out.
And this is going to be a foul ball. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. Again a one two. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Now another one two. A fastball that just misses inside. Well you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off fouling them off in the one two count. He finally took a ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Four runs here in this half inning. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. And another foul ball. Come on now. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Center fielder number 12. Juan. Here's Juan Ligares. He's looking for hit number three here in this at bat. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2 and 2 now. A runner on first with two away. Again, he sends it out of play. The 2 2 one more time. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Ready with another 2 2. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Duvall is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. But four runs score in the inning, three coming right here on the three run home run. Seven complete here tonight. It is now nine to nothing. And that brings up Scott Shebler. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Well, these fans have been treated to a fine outing out of their hometown starter as we give you a look at the numbers here. A big zero in the run column on the right hand side of your screen. Riding in once again, Eugenio Suarez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Uh, and he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussion at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Into the box now, Sean Zaraga takes a fastball on the inside corner. This is a well-conditioned pitcher right here. His stamina is showing up. He's still throwing in the high 90s, and it's late in the game. Man, he's in shape. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Darno gathers it. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Reds. They're down nine to nothing. Your 
Mike Wood comes on to pitch now, now hoping for, for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Ready once again, Noah Syndergaard. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. On the ground, up the middle. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. He is having a terrific game, pitching well seven, enough to get back to the plate play. again, and okay. this time he delivers with a base hit. Standing in now, Jose Reyes. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Duvall looking up. Gone into the upper tank. A two-run home run for Jose Reyes. Home run number five on the year as this lead got even wider. He threw a two-seamer, hoping to get some movement, but that thing did nothing to fool him, and he squared it up perfectly. Pretty swing of the bat there. Into the box, T.J. Rivera. Two and two. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Hard liner toward short. But this is yanked down out there at shortstop for the first out. A shortstop number 13. Asdrubal Cabrera. Here now is Asdrubal Cabrera. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits including a homer to this point. Up and in on the hands, it's two balls and a strike. Matt, this could be a real special end. They've already hit a home run here, and now the real power is starting to come to the plate. We might be in for a light show. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. And a fastball just a bit up. One out, nobody on. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that's another base hit for him. He's on a tear in this one. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. In now, Michael Conforto. Fastball not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. The two and one on its way. 
A fastball down near the shoe tops. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. One out and a runner on second base. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Full count, here it comes. That's lifted the other way out to left. Chebler is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Now batting, catcher, Travis Darno. Digging in and looking for more, Travis Darno. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Very weakly on the ground. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Ninth inning coming up. The Mets are out on top, 11 to nothing. The seven train making its stops just outside City Field as we welcome you back inside for Your the remainder of please. baseball on the show. Harris Mindy Alcantara is going to pinch Harris hit here Mindy. to lead off the ninth, Alcantara. and with his club already well down, he'll just need to try and get on base here. Action in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. The one and two pitch. And this will be fouled away. He'll try again, one, two. Heavy sinker just stayed inside. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Chuck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Second baseman, Jose Peraza. So striding forward now, Jose Peraza. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound right now. That's five straight punch outs. I love it, but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Swing and a looper to left. Conforto ranging forward. He dives and makes the play. Are you kidding me? A terrific play to end the ball game. Wow. Talk about total dominance. Nine innings, only two hits allowed. That's about as good as it gets. This guy was as good in the ninth inning as he was in the first. So close to baseball history. 11 nothing the final shutout total in this one. The New York Mets get the win after banging out 16 total hits. Noah Syndergaard hosts his league leading 21st victory as he allows only two hits over nine full innings. 
So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Pleszak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Reds, no runs and only two hits. No errors. They left two men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 23 minutes. Thanks for joining us this evening, and please drive home safely.
the 2-0. He throw to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall. 3,000 is in right field, and Ichiro is racing for third, and he's done it. He's climbed the mountain, a triple, and he has arrived 